when we say everybody hates Chris, we really just talking about Will and Jada Pinkett Smith, right? <laughs> Stay tuned for more details on the slap her around the world on WC After That. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Jazzy C After Dark. I am your girl, your host, Jazzy C. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that button at the bottom of the screen for the notifications and thank you for your support. Okay, so let's talk about this slap her around the world. <laughs> so last night, I guess at the Oscars, Will Smith smacked Chris Rock harder than that little redheaded bully did on Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> and was Will Smith right in what he did? Yes. Should he have chose a better time and place to handle that? Yes. Yes, he should have. And according to the DailyMail.com, Chris Rock is yet to speak to Will Smith after being struck by the actor live on stage at the Oscars on Sunday night. It had been claimed by Diddy that the pair has sorted out their differences, but insiders now say that is not the case. And Daily Mail also reports that Chris Rock was not aware of Jada Pinkett Smith's alopecia when he made the joke about her and her disease looking like G.I. Jane. I mean, let's take it as face value as is right now. Chris Rock didn't know that Jada Pinkett Smith had alopecia. Okay, we're going to say it right there. But have y'all seen G.I. Jane? Like, demean more and G.I. Jane was sexy. Now, I'm a straight woman, okay? But when I remember G.I. Jane, she cutting off all her hair and it falling down to the ground and she putting on that army uniform. I was like, damn, that's who protecting me? That's who serving my country? Oh, I love me some G.I. Jane. Now, I don't know if Jada Pinky should have took it that far, but look. G.I. Jane is sexy. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Now, according to The Sun Online, the Smiths, that's Will and Jada Pinkett Smith, plan to break their silence and talk about the incident on the Red Table Talk. Oh, good promo. Good promo for the Red Table Talk. The Smiths know how to do it. You can't tell me. That's promo. You think the Kardashians? You think Mama Jenner know how to do it? Shit. Jada Pinkett said, hold my motherfucking beer. Let me show you how to do some promo. <laughs> Entanglement. Motherfucking man slapping folk on TV. Now that's promo. Show them how to do it, mama. Show them how to do it, Jada. <laughs> no, seriously, seriously, seriously. All jokes aside, I do not condone violence. I am not saying that what Will Smith did last night at the Oscars was right. But I understand. I understand what it might feel like to be a man in that position and you see your wife shaking her head in disgust and tears in her eye and the only thing you can do is react. React because you're tired. Tired of being the jokes, the butt of jokes for the past two years. When is people going to let it go? You was talking about my wife, Chris Rock, in 2016. And here you go talking about her again in 2022. I don't know. Y'all going to have to let me know what y'all think on this one. Because I'm all for a man sticking up for his wife. If you feel like your wife or your mate or your spouse has been disrespected to the point as to where they have no faith in me, my relationship with them and the faith and perseverance of us. I have to take a stand. You got to take a stand. 
I don't know. Because according to Hoda Copy, she said on the Today Show that Will Smith considered himself to be a coward. So you have to put your shoes in a position as to where my wife, my family considers me to be a coward. And here I am on national TV being insulted once again. What you going to do? No, seriously. Jazzy C after dark audience. Tell me what you going to do. What would you do if it were you? Your family thinks you are a coward. Your wife thinks you are a coward. You yourself say that you are a coward. How will you redeem yourself to your wife, your family, the world? Where else to do it other than the Oscars? Hey, I'm loving this promo. Hey, I love the Swiss. Hey, I love that promo. Red Table Talk. <laughs> <laughs> they know how to do it. You can't. Hey, look. All jokes aside, I appreciate Chris Rock for not pressing charges. I know the Oscars is reporting that they, according to TMZ, that they don't condone violence, yada, yada, yada. We know that they're going to have to make a stand against violence. And we're all for that against violence. Yeah. But I for sticking up for my family, though. I'm sorry. You got to let me know what y'all think, Jazzy C. After Dark audience, tell me. Do you think that Will Smith was right? Do you think that it was just a joke? Or do you think that you would have did the same thing if you were in the same situation, given all the facts above? Let me know what you think. Put it down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. You know I want to hear your thoughts on what you got to say. In the meantime, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that button at the bottom of the screen for the notifications and leave some kisses in my comments and let me know what you think.